This one, Bola tips it in the backcourt. Brandon Herring runs it down along the sideline and throws it right back inbounds to the hands of Josh Stevens of Paoli. The Rams get it first. Valley opening up. We'll see if they'll go to the half court man to man. They go cross court in the corner. He can't all alone. Three left corner is good. That is not what Coach Rob Hayworth wanted to see on the very first offensive play, but what the Rams wanted to get. I thought, where is he throwing that ball to? I didn't see Seacat down in the corner. He found a hole down there amongst the Valley folks. Now Coach Rob Hayworth talking it over with our official here, Tom Moore. And everything seems to be situated. This allows a fourth Paoli bird on to make to set up the full court pressure. And part of the reason why they got the long net down there. Eckerty to throw it in, he gets it to Herring, who runs right in front of him, and Herring quickly down the left side with the dribble, sets it up now in the half-court offense. See what the Rams want to do, if they'll go to the 2-3, and they will. Herring works left side, let's high post the bowling team, get it to him, Valley going to really collapse in on the Valley big man. It's worth making 34 points, he lit it up last night. Eckerty on the right side, he had the big game yesterday, but then got shut out last night for Valley to win. They cannot have that happen. They like to those 10 to 12 points every game. Roman, you're down the lane, stops, pops the 10 footer, no good. Loose on the floor, rebound pulled down by Brian Wolf. Having Seacat brings it up the right side with the dribble. Into the corner, all alone. Here's three by Yusugi, front of the rim, no good. Loose side rebound, Keenan Cave. Quickly up to Herring, three on two, not his advantage. Crosses over, dribbles to the free throw line. Now puts a fadeaway shot up, no good. Tipped around, bowl with a rebound, up, good. Count it, and a foul. Coach Hayworth in the free game, very, very pleased with his rebounding last night, and Bowling starts him off on a good note tonight. Uh, he just went up higher than anybody Paoli had out there on the floor to get the rebound, then when he went back up with it, that's when he was fouled. Brian Wolf, who had good box out position, just couldn't get up for the ball. He picks up the foul, his first and first on the team. And the free throw is good by Todd Bowling, and we are tied at three. 6.54 to go on the hometown pizza pasta, more scoreboard. Evan Seacat between circles to Brandon Chastain. Now to Stevens on the baseline to Wolf. Wolf out front, left side, Yusugi, top of the key. The pass goes to Stevens, right side, Seacat. Three from the right wing is good. Evan hits both of his looks that he's had. Here's a run out over, goes to Romier, tipped away at the last second by Stevens. Romier tried to throw it off Stevens, and he does out of bounds to save the Blackhawks' possession of the basketball. I was trying to track and see what Valley was doing defensively. They were in a, a zone trying to match up, and they just lost Seacat. He wound up wide open on the wing for a second straight trip. Well, they lost him twice. Inbound pass to Bowen, drives baseline. In between traffic, shot up, no good. Rebound cleared out of there by Chastain. Out of Suzy across the timeline. Seacat, top of the key. He's going to launch three off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound tipped around. Wolf takes it away from Kane, put it back up and in. Ryan Wolf on the offensive board. He's got his first two, and the Rams up by five on the hometown pizza pasta and more scoreboard. Herring in the backcourt works on Seacat with the dribble, runs it up right side to Romier. They clear it out, let Herring have the basketball. He takes the top of the key, pass into the corner, three by Cave on the way. High arcing shot too hard, no good. Ball tipped out of bounds, last touch by the Rams. It will be Blackhawks basketball. Well, Cave tends to shoot that high arcing shot anyway, but that time had to put it over the top of the defender. I think it might have been Chastain who was flying at him that time. Romier, three right corner, no good. Rebound tipped around. Chastain has it for the Rams. Up to Yusugi. Yusugi drives, crosses over, puts a shot up in the lane, no good. Eckerty, the rebound would come the other way. Herring down the left side, behind the back. Stop, 10-footer straight away, back of the rim, no good. Eckerty tips it out of there, but right to Stevens. Josh runs it up the right side with the dribble. Passes it off to Seacat. He veers down the lane. Jump stop, shot up, partially blocked, but pulled down by Yusugi. Here's Wolf in the lane, 10-footer off the glass, in and out, no good. Rebound Evan Seacat in traffic, up, good, counted, and a foul. Of the Rams now hit the offensive glass for the second time. We'll have an opportunity one more time to go to the free throw line. Wait to see who that foul is going to be on the basket. Good, the foul goes on 40. That's Todd Bowen, his first First on the team, Bowling got into a bit of foul trouble yesterday, but managed to work his way through it. And substitution for Spring Valley, Adam Mills in, and Keenan Cave to the bench. They'll have to be aware of where Mills is at. He's a good three-pointer if he is set. Seacat steps up to the line, hitting 74% from the strike, and the first one by Evan is up and good. 
Well, he's off to a fast start tonight. Nine of the 11. Full court pressure. Eckerty needs help. Finally comes all the way to the four court. Mills tried to throw it to Bowling, but threw it behind him. And Seacab with the steal. Evan Drive stops. Ten footer. Knocked down. Loose on the floor. Rominger and Chastain fight for it. Brandon touches it last. It will be Blackhawk basketball. And as it usually is between these two, a physical ball game. A lot of bumping and shoving. Referee's doing a good job of letting them play through it. In town to Harry. He drives left side to Mills. Three left corner on the way. In and out. No good. Stevens the rebound for the Rams. Brings it up the left side. Now stops in the offensive end. The Seacat all alone. Three straight away. Front of the rim. No good. Harry the deep rebound. We come the other way. Harry right down the middle of the court. Stops. Drives in. There's contact. No foul. Stevens takes it away. Josh the other way. Left side. Drives in. Up off the glass and good. Just like that, a quick turnaround, and Paoli up by 10 on the hometown pizza, Pops, and more scoreboard. 4.40 to go into the first quarter. Mills loses it out of bounds, and Valley turns it over already for the fourth time in this ballgame. Well, we've already gotten six shots for Evan Seacat, three out of six. Got a bucket out of uh, Stevens in transition. Wolf also involved. See if we can't get Chastain and Yusuke off this night as well. Now Ed brings it up at the point. Seacat into the corner, right side to Wolf, back to Yusugi, swing it top of the key, Steven. Here's three by Seacat, left corner, up, in and out, no good. The rebound pulled down by Ackerty, clears it off the bowl, and he brings it up with the dribble. Takes it all the way to the free throw line, now down to the dotted line, and as he went up, looks as though he might want to dish it off instead of shoot. Looks as though the Rams, probably, Ed Yusugi will be called for the reach-in foul. Uh, Yusugi gets the foul, that'll be his first, the second on the team. Substitution goes full and checks in for Paoli, and he replaces Brian Wolf. 13 to 3 on the hometown piece of Austin Moore scoreboard. Paoli on top. Quickly, Romier bounces it off. Stevens back comes in, gets it, and fires it up for a quick two. Good heads up play by Tyler Romier. 13 to 5, first two of the night for Romier. Left side to Stevens. Stevens works again. Almost like a box and one. They're trying to match up. Now Chastain flashes high post. Shot in and out. No good. Pulling the rebound for the Rams. Back out to Chastain. Stevens swings it left side now to Yusugi. Yusugi to Stevens all alone. Right of the key. Three up and he's got it to go. Five now for Josh. 16 to five. Long outlet pass to Romeo. Off his head. It goes out of bounds. It will be the only basketball. And if they don't get it into Harry initially, Bert, they look for the fly down the sideline to Rominger. Uh, Rominger was open initially, but the defense for Paoli able to hustle and get back enough to distract him from being able to catch that ball. Stevens and Fullen, both the men in coverage, so to speak. And this time, Evan Seacat gets up in the air and then decides to try and change his path. And they'll call him for a travel. And that'll just be the first turnover of the night, though, for the Rams. Josh Nelson in for the first time, 5'9", and a senior. And coming out will be Ed Yusugi. Tyler Romier gets a break as Gavin Smith sees his first action. Inbounds to Aaron. He comes in. Stops left wing, 10-footer. Back of the rim, no good. He kept the rebound for the Ram. Evans will, Evan will bring it up across the timeline with the dribble all the way into the corner to Stevens. Josh takes the shot. Now back out to Fuller. 15-footer, right baseline. Back of the rim, no good. He goes after his own rebound. But good position this time by Brandon Herring down low. Bullen comes over the back. Yeah, Bullen, if he'd have followed the shot initially, I think he'd probably come up with a rebound as he was. He had Herring there, had a hand on the basketball when Bullen came running into him. That'll be the first on Joe and third on the team. Inbound pass to Herring, beats the press with the dribble, pass to the right side to Smoot, takes three, drives in, running one hand or ten footer, no good. But Josh Stevens gets him on the way by with a bit of a push, and Josh will pick up the personal foul. And a little bit past the halfway mark of the first quarter and already 14 fouls called against Paoli. They have been spread amongst four different players as Stevens picks up his first foul. One thing also noticeably different here for the Rams first, usually they send Evan on the fly, yeah. but tonight he's crashing the boards and he's already got three or four rebounds. Yeah, they need that extra body and his height underneath to get the boards. Gavin Smith hits his free throw. He hasn't missed yet this season. 16 to 6 on the hometown pizza pasta and more scoreboard. 313 to go first quarter. Next one by Smoot. In and out, no good. Uh, you think so. Chastain the rebound for the Rams. Gives it off to Evan Seacat. He'll bring it across the timeline with the dribble. Left side to Stevens. Fakes three. Dribbles to the top of the key. The full and right of the key. Looking down low to Seacat. Can't get it to him. Out front. Stevens has it. Goes over to Seacat. Fakes. Drives in on Harry. Jump pass. He goes off the hands of Joe Fullen out of bounds. 
And the Rams have their second turnover of the quarter as Brian Wolf checks back in. I think normally CK would have gone ahead and pulled up for the jumper, but he got a, a poke to the eye and was getting rid of it. Bullet, knowing that he usually shoots it, was breaking through the basket. So the two just uh, a little bit off in the communication as far as what's going on out there. Roaming her back in, Herring gets a break. Eckerty drives down the lane, try to bounce pass down low to Bolin. It went off somebody's leg, and they say off the leg of a Paoli defender. So Paoli will set up in that 2-3 zone defense. They've been in that most of the night, if not all the night. Eckerty goes in the corner to Rominger, deep in the left side, drives into the wing, puts a floater up in the lane, partially blocked. He caps the rebound, comes out with the dribble. Evan drives in all the way, left side stops, puts it up with the left hand, back of the rim, no good. Tips around, Wolf has it, put it back up a second time, no good. And Bowling comes down with the rebound for the Hawks the other way. Side driving all the way and lays it up too high, no good. The ball is a mad scramble loose on the floor. Wolf has it. Wolf looking down for it, goes to Seacat, two on one. Evan drives in, puts the shot up, no good, and a blocking foul will be called on Gavin Smoot of oh, Springs Valley. Well, Wolfie has just been able to get a hold of that basketball. He had a Nelson all alone at the other end of the court. Just couldn't get it to him, and Smoot was hustling back, getting into passing lanes to keep him from being able to get rid of it. Seacat drives in, drew the uh, foul against Smoot, and that is his first and second on the team. Seacat to the line. He's been there once tonight. Hit that one. Well, both coaches have been going to the bench, getting players in there. They know that it will be an up-and-down ball game, 2.19 to go here in the first quarter of play. They only leads it by 10. Free throw by Seacat up and good. Hometown Pizza Pasta and more. Daily lunch and buffet with soup, salad bar, pizza, pasta, and dessert bar for just $4.95. Hometown Pizza Pasta and more in Paoli and Salem. Evan down double figures already with 10. But he, he's gone cold from the field. Hit three of his first four, but has missed his last four. Second shot by Evan up and good. Coach Hayworth wanted to keep him in check. Man, he's not doing it so far yet. No. And well, the team he, is paying for it. I think the figure he set was 17 points or less, and right now Evan's got 11 already with still two and 15 to go in the first quarter. Cade looks to get it in, and he cannot right. get it. Great defense by the Rams on the front of the zone. Yusuke, Nelson, and Stevens get the credit. Go well, ahead. Uh, Herring and Roaming are back here trying to get free. Nobody from midcourt on back came up to help. If they'd have come back, they'd have had the relief man. Out front, the pass goes to Nelson. Roaming are nearly stolen, but Nelson gets it back. Josh drives to the top of the key, bounce pass right side to Stevens. Stevens looking down low into the high post of Fullett. Left side, Yusuke, top of the key, Nelson all alone. Three on the way is good. Josh Nelson is his first three-pointer of the night. 21-6 on the hometown pizza pasta and more scoreboard. Quickly up to Gavin Smoot. He lost the ball. Fulham makes the save. Tipped around. And Wolf comes down with it for Paoli. You see, he long complete pass to Nelson. Tracks it down in the corner. But then as he comes down, he bounces the ball on the sideline out of bounds. And the Rams give it right back. Now we'll see if uh, Valley sticks with the defense that they've been playing in the half court. But Paoli's got a mismatch. And I think that's what Coach Brown has been looking at is trying to get the ball into Brian Wolf. Because he had the smaller Keenan Cave down there on him. Eckert, he comes in. It goes to Rominger at midcourt against the press, working against Nelson. Rominger drives all the way in, puts a running one-hander up, in and out, no good. Tipped up by Bowling, no good. Eckert, he has it. He pulls up 10-footer left baseline, is good. Tim Eckert, he gets it on the third attempt, his first two of the night. 21-18 in favor of the Rams, down low in the lane. Wolf turns, gets it off into the corner. Nelson's three, front of the rim, no good. Herring has the rebound for the Hawks. He brings it out quickly with the dribble. Stops, dishes right side, Rominger drives, shot no good. Rebound pulled down by Chastain. We come the other way. It's a track meet. Yusugi lost it, got it back. Now to Chastain, Granite fake, and as Granite shuffled the feet, he'll be called for a travel. Now it gave that head fake, but at the same time, he was moving the feet. That's a turnover against Paoli. Gives uh, Coach Brown a chance to get Seacat back into the ball game. And Josh Stevens, who's off to a good start with five points, he's to the bench. Inbound pass along went in the corner. Romeo double team gives it out to Bowling. Bowling drives down the lane. Floating 10-footer straight away is good. Four on the night for Bowling. 21 to 10. The Rams lead it with a minute five to go in the first quarter on the hometown pizza pops and more scoreboard. Yusugi top of the key to Chastain to Nelson. The Yusugi into the left corner. Ed bounce pass in the high post. Chastain right back out. Nelson three left of the key. Going to be way short. Seacat has it. Ian Wolf to line and it goes out of bounds. At that time, the Rams were their own best defenders. They were. Nelson just wasn't set when he got rid of the ball on the shot. 
He went for the fake, then tried to set himself and was way out of kilter when he got rid of it. Now with 40 seconds remaining, the Hawks pull it out. Let's see if they go for one, down by 11. They have trailed this entire first quarter of play. 36 seconds, Bolin just dribbling it out along the perimeter, gives it off now to Tyler Romier, out near midcourt along the sideline, left side. Now, Herring has it between circles, 25 seconds and counting on the hometown piece of Haas and Morris scoreboard. Hawks begin their offense down by 11. Romier fakes three, Nelson a good recovery to Cave on the right wing, drives in the lane, lost his footing, and as he goes down, a foul will be called with 14.3 seconds remaining in the quarter. Yeah, he got the feet tangled up with Josh Nelson, who was uh, crashing down on him from the high post on the defensive side of things, and Nelson picks up his first and fifth on the team. 14 seconds left in the quarter. Savali still to work for the final shot of the quarter. Stevens back in for the Rams. Here's Rominger to throw it in along the sideline, and it's tipped there by Chastain, actually kicked by Brandon. Romier will stay right at the same spot on the right side of the bucket. 13.9 seconds to go. Romier slaps the basketball, comes out high bowling free throw line jumper, short, no good, tipped around. See cat the rebound for the Rams, clears it off with nine seconds to go, walks it up with seven. Valley drops back into the zone matchup. Here's Seacat, right wing jumper, front of the rim, no good. Whoop the rebound in traffic, up at the horn, and he got it. Right at the horn, an offensive rebound for Brian Wolf, got it. And with the first quarter of play belongs to the Rams, they lead Springs Valley. Basketball, Steven, Seacat, Yusugi, Chastain, Bolin, Eckerty, Rominger, Caven, Brandon Herring, high post pass goes to Brian Wolf. He drives down the lane, floating one hand or ten foot. No good ball tipped around. Brian gets his own rebound, turns in the lane, second time short, goes up a third time, no good. And Evan Seacat has it. He turns in the lane, put it up and in. The Rams just play volleyball right there. And now on action after the bucket, looks like Cave will pick up a foul away from the basketball. Seacat now with 13 points. That foul goes on 23 for Springs Valley. Keenan Cave, I think he and Seacat got tangled up after the ball had gone through the hoop. Keith for Cave. That is his uh, first foul, third on the team. Give it back over to Paoli underneath the uh, Rams basket. Paoli, 8 of 22 in the first quarter, 36%. Valley just 4 of 16, 25%. Ed Yusugi to throw it into the left of the bucket. The Rams stack it up. He lobs it into Wolf. All alone, put it up. Blocked from behind, though, on a nice play by Todd Bolin out of bounds. He saved an easy two right there. Uh, all of a sudden, it, Wolf was there all alone. Uh, everybody went away from him. That was the initial play that they wanted. Once they shut it down, they went away from him. Stevens at the free throw line. Seacat three, left side on the way is good. Evan Seacat found a home in that left corner. 28 to 10, the Rams lead it. He's got 16, and we just started the second quarter. Out front, Herring slows it down. The Rams now drop back in their half-court zone defense, packing it in around Bullock. Cave, left wing, drives in, down, pass, lift the left side, Herring back out to Cave. To the free throw line, stripped away by Seacat, picked up by Chastain, partially blocked by Herring out of bounds, and it will be Paoli basketball. Uh, good I team. say that. Let's see if you could yeah. <laughs> Well, they never did point. Now the Valley wants to call timeout. Coach Rob Hayworth not liking the way the second quarter is starting for his team. We did not play a minute. And he takes a timeout with 7 0 in a couple of days. It, it just makes for an interesting day. We'll start at 3 in the afternoon and be here all afternoon and all night long till we're done. And then we'll set you up for that championship round on Friday. Rams had the basketball after the Blackhawk timeout. Chastain left side. Seacat drives in, and there's an offensive foul. And stepping in there to take the charge was Tyler Rominger for the Blackhawks. First foul on Seacat, sixth on the team. Paola continuing the trend that they had earlier, wherein everybody seems like they're going to pick up a one at least before somebody gets stuck with a second. Six team fouls spread out amongst six different players. 651 in counting here in the first half of play. The Rams lead it by 18 on the right side. Rominger down low. Bowling catches, turns, puts up and good in one motion. Seven for Bolin, who did a nice job of flashing across the baseline to get that shot opportunity. Yusugi passes it out front, Chastain, left side. Josh Stevens with the dribble for the Rams. Hawks man to man. Fires a pass on the baseline to Chastain, back to Stevens. Top of the key to Yusugi. Yusugi looking down low, finds. Seacat guarded by Herring. Kevin dumps it off on the baseline. Spin move by Bolin, but right there, Rominger to uh, tip it away and steal it. As he goes for the ball out of bounds, he is bumped and fouled. And 
And this one looks like it'll go on Brian Wolf. Yeah, Wolf was just frustrated after losing the handle on the basketball. Way too aggressive in going after it. Sent a Rominger to the floor with a pretty good shove in the back. Rominger will go the other way to shoot one in the bonus because that is team foul number seven against Paoli. It is also foul number two against Brian Wolf. Looks as though Tyler may have taken a hit to the head there right about yep. the right eye. They're looking him over. He's kind of cheered up a little bit on him, and the officials are letting him walk slow down here to get his vision cleared up, and he's going to wipe away the perspiration, stand up at the line. Excellent free throw shooter, 80% at the line here for Springs Valley. Free throw back of the rim, no good, though. Bowling goes up high over Wolf, puts it up left side, back of the rim, no good. Bowling a third time, no good. And finally, Wolf clears it out of there for the Rams. And it goes a pass down the right side. And we're going to have a whistle as Joe Fuller gets ready to check in. The ball knocked out of bounds by the Blackhawks. Fuller in and Wolf out for the Rams at the 6.08 mark. Almost looks like you're going to need the fight doctor for Rominger. That eye looks like it may have puffed up a little bit on him already. And checking in for the Blackhawks, 44, Blake Allen, 5'7", 130, and a freshman. Blake saw some action and the win over Grayson Christian yesterday morning, but did not play last night's game against the Cougars. Here's Seacat again, left side, three on the way, in and out, no good. And Bolin has the rebound for Spring Valley. And as he comes down with it, we've got a whistle and a foul will go on, Paoli. That's a good news, bad news type situation with the way that uh, the offense is going for Paoli right now. That foul on uh, full in his second and eighth on the team. The good news is they're getting open looks for Evan Seacat. It's just that right now the ball is rolling around and falling out on him. To the line, Todd Bolin, an 80% free throw shooter on the year. And Todd's free throw is up and good. Ronald Hill gets ready to check back in the Blackhawks lineup. Eight points already for Bowling. And Keenan Cave will come out for Springs Valley. Well, Valley needs to do what they're doing right now. That score with the clock not running. They try and fly back into this game. 28 to 13. Been down by as many as 18. Free throw in and out. No good. Tipped around by Hill and finally pulled down by Seacat. Quickly up to Stevens on the left side. Crosses over into the baseline. Out front the pass goes. Seacat casting. Swing it right side on the wing to Yasugi. Valley stays in the half court. Man-to-man -man defense. Yasugi with the dribble for Paoli between the circles. Left side to casting on the wing. Brandon fires a pass out front. Full and right side Yasugi. Yasugi looking down low. Nobody open. Rams facing now on the offense. Long as they've run a set all night long. Yasugi on the right wing, making the Hawks play defense, drives in, stops, free throw line jumper, back of the rim, no good. Kill the rebound for the Hawks to Herring. Herring across the timeline with the dribble, slows it off to Bowlin. Rams drop back now into their 2-3 zone, almost a 3-2 zone. On the left side, Rominger into the corner to Allen to Rominger, behind the perimeter, looks left, fires it right now, Herring's three right of the key is up and good. Brandon Herring gets a good look, and he hits his first long-range bomb. And it's 28-16 with five minutes remaining in the first half. As Valley tries to climb back in, a down now by a dozen. Yusugi behind the arc with the dribble, works between the circles against the Valley man-to-man. -man. Right side to Stevens. Stevens looking down low. High post pass, Cassie turns in the lane, stops 10-footer, in and out, no good. Ball tipped around, Allen has it for the Hawks, gives it off to Herring down the left sideline. Herring stops, passes back out the bowl and drives in, pulls up 17-footer on the wing, no good. Joe Fulham with excellent rebounding position, and all Ronald Hill could do is go over the back. And that foul goes on. Ronald Hill is first and fourth on the team. It just seems like we're getting a lot, lot of long rebounds tonight, rebounds that can be contested without much fouling going on, and it seems like Valley's gotten a few long ones when they always had good defensive uh, rebound position. He can at the point off the dribble, top of the key, shot no good, Herring the rebound, looks down for it, now runs it up with the dribble, ahead to Hill, right back to Herring, makes three, and as Brandon made his move, he'll be called for a travel, and that's 10 turnovers already on the block line. And that's too many in the uh, first half of play, especially when you still got 4.17 left in the second quarter. 28-16. Aoli on top in the basketball. Seacat across the timeline. Gets the screen. Works the right side. Looks down low to Chastain. Brandon bobbled it, but got it back. He helped fully cuts down the lane. And as Joe makes his move down the three-second lane to the low post, Todd Bowling there trying to cut him off. And 
Todd kind of gets a foul that Coach Rob Abert would not like for him to pick up. No, because he's just picked up his second personal foul, not in a situation where the man was threatening to score. Uh, second on Boland, fifth on the team, so Paoli not yet in the bonus. Seacat to Stevens, top of the key. Works left side. Seacat, Evan drives down the lane, stops running one-hander, back of the rim, no good. Gets around, Evan gets it on the left side, put it back up and in. Give fooling credit, though, for keeping the ball alive for the Rams. Allen to throw it in, needs help, comes in the mid-court to Hill, right back to Bolin, and he'll bring it across the timeline, then he just throws it away, Seacat has the steal, Evan works between players, drives left side, puts it up with the left hand, no good, rebound though by Chastain, back up and in, and another offensive rebound put back up and in by the Rams, Coach Rob Hayward says we need to talk it over, and all of a sudden, the Rams have doubled up, don't make too many more, you better get a lot of them. And uh, that's what Paoli has done so far. Uh, Evan Seacat doing the uh, majority of the scoring. He has got 18 points already. And offensive rebounding, a big key for the Rams. And the backboard rolling are being guarded very closely there by Stevens. And Josh will pick up the foul. Valley uh, right there trailing in that department. The Rams have 12 offensive rebounds of their 23. Uh, Valley has 16 rebounds, but only five on the offensive glass. And the foul starting to pile up a bit on Paoli. Stevens has just picked up his second personal foul. That is team foul number nine. One in bonus this trip. One more trip, though, or one more foul, and Valley shoots two. Tyler Romier at the line for the Hawks. Free throw in and out, no good. Chastain the rebound for the Rams. Clears it up, Seacat left side to Stevens. Stevens backs it out with the dribble, gives it off now to Seacat. Swing it right side to Sugi. Looking down low, Ed can't get the pass to Chastain. Now to Stevens at the point. Right, making left side now to Chastain. Brandon passes it. Fuller comes back to get it on a good save. Stevens into the corner to Yasugi. Ed fakes, now pulls it back out with the dribble. We near the three-minute mark of the first half. Yasugi between circles for Paoli, works the right side to Stevens. Stevens backs it out, crosses over, drives down the lane, pulls up 10-footer in the lane, no good. Bowling the rebound for the Hawks. Long outlet pass to Herring. He drives in, stops, puts it up off the glass from the left side, and good. Transition that time, and five points for Herring. A big key for the Blackhawks. 32-18, 2.45 to go. Left side, Josh Stevens with the basketball. Oh, great pass down low. It goes in to Granite Chastain, and he is hammered as he goes up for the shot. He came down with a back cut from the weak side, and Dolly just got there too late. Well, they had set that play up a few times tonight, just had not thrown the pass. That time, Chastain did break clear and got the pass. Hill forced a foul. That's his second personal foul, six on the team. One more, and Paoli will be in a bonus situation, as it is Chastain to shoot two. Brandon hitting 90% from the line, drains that one. He's got three points on the evening, 33-18, with 2.41 remaining in the first half of play. And Brandon Chastain ready to go. Second free throw is up, back of the rim too hard, no good. Joe Full in the rebound for the Rams. Back out to Brandon, left wing, 15-footer, back of the rim, no good. Rebound pulled down by Todd, bowling with authority for the Hawks. And now Todd will bring it up with the dribble for Valley. Goes to Eckerty on the left side. Eckerty behind the arc. Tried to go down low to Romier on the baseline, but Chastain kicks it out of bounds. Uh, Paoli that time had nobody to guard in the low post. Everybody was up toward the top of the key to midcourt. Romier lobs it over to Eckerty, and he puts one in from the right wing. 17 foot out, his first two of the night. 33 20, 2 10 and counting here in the first half. Chastain top of the key to Stevens. Stevens looking down low, nobody open, drives to the free throw line to Seacat. Seacat guarded out front by Hill, now directing traffic sends to Sugi down low. Evan at the point, works on the right side, bounce pass to Fullen. Fullen into Stevens, down the lane, Josh stops, fires up off the glass from 10 foot, he's got seven. And Paoli back up by 15, under two minutes to go. Bowling across the timeline with the dribble, works it to Hill. Hill down to the baseline, out to Bowling, top of the key. Herring works it right side to Rominger. Rominger with the dribble between the legs. Now drives in, kicks it back out to Herring. Three, top of the key is up and good. Brandon Herring just apparently needs to shoot for him. He's got eight in this half, 35-23. Seacat in the offensive end. Three by Yusugi, right corner. Can he answer? He does. Ed Yusugi dreams the long-range bomb. His first three, 38-23. A minute 22 and counting. Bolin on the right wing, drives in the lane, kicks it back out to Hill. He drives in left side, put it up and good off the glass. Nice drive by Ronald Hill, his first two. The Rams the other way, Yusugi to Seacat. Seacat now left all alone. Gets three, run the right wing and good. They just backed off and left him. 
Coach Rob Hayworth is wondering what did he talk about in pregame. Big head with 21. 41-25, under a minute now remaining. Harry, stutter step with the dribble, back out to Romeo. Romeo now pulls it back out. Let's see if the Hawks want to try and set up for a last shot or at least make the Rams work for it on the defensive end. Bowling has it now between circles. Takes it to the wing, out front to Herring, down to 40 seconds. 41-25, Paoli on top. Herring with the basketball. They, the Blackhawks, will get it to start the second half. Out front now, Romier. Romier drives to the top of the key, looks for a shot, pass to the right side. Bowling on the baseline as he makes his move. Joe Bullen fouls him out on the floor with 21.1 seconds remaining. And we'll make sure before I say, but I think Bullen has got uh, three personal fouls on him. That would be 10 against the team so far tonight. So a double bonus situation for Spring Valley, and Bullen does have three fouls. Valley doing a good job of staying out of foul trouble, yet to be over the limit. Put the Rams in the bonus. Bullen at the line for two. First one's up and good. Gavin Smith, Josh Nelson will uh, come in. Will be Eddie Yusugi coming out. Also, Josh Anderson for the Blackhawks will come in. Ronald Hill will come out. Smooth ready to check in for Bowling. Ed picked up a, or Ed, that's his older brother, Eddie. Uh, Todd picked up a couple of fouls yeah. early, but he's done a nice job staying in the game. And now they want to get him out for the final 21. Out shot in and out, no good. Chastain the rebound for the Rams. Gives it off to Seacat. Anderson in the backcourt to pick him up across the timeline. Evan gets a screen, works left side. Looking down low out to Chastain. Still plenty of time. Nine seconds to go. Pass out of the way, stolen by Romier. Romier the other way for the Hawks. Stripped away by Nelson as he goes in with 3.9 seconds to go. And Tyler Romier comes up with a big defensive play right here before half for Springs Valley. And he'll go to the line. That's a big foul against Paoli because it didn't go against Nelson. It went against the Stevens, the two of them right there. Stevens picks up his third personal foul. And uh, Rominger to the line to shoot two. Tyler's free throw is up and good. And now Gavin Spook gets to come into the game for Todd Bowen with just 3.9 seconds remaining. That'll be the first break that Todd has had, by the way, this whole first half. I don't think Rominger or Herring have been out. I think you're exactly right. Well, Herring went out, I think, for a little bit. Just briefly, but yeah, yeah, but not much for Rominger, right? Has not been out. Rebound, no good. And a shot, no good. Rebound by Seacat. Launches it from half court. It's going to be short. And that will be the first half of play. And in this ball game at half, Aoli leading Springs Valley by a score of 41 to 27. I think they're doing a, a decent enough job on the board tonight and need to get a few more shots, especially for Brandon Herring on the offensive end. Herring brings it up with the dribble to start this half. Bounce pass down low in the lane. Bowl with triple team loose on the floor. Back to Herring. Three, top of the key is up and good. Brandon Herring has been perfect there from behind the arc. He's got 11, 41 to 30. Yusugi bounce pass down low in the lane. Wolf turns right side off the glass in and out. No good. Eckerty the rebound. Long out left pass ahead. Driving his heel who starts his half. His shot up no good. And Chastain pulls it down for the Rams. As the Hawks missed an easy one there that they would have liked to have. Into the lane. Wolf give and go to Seacat. And as Evan makes a move down the lane, a reach in foul will be called on the Blackhawks. It is Herring, Eckerty, Rominger, Hill, and Bowen. The Rams go Yusugi, Steven, Seacat, Chastain, and Wolf. Kim Eckerty picks up that foul. That's his first, first on the team here in the half, but a real nice give and go between Wolf and Seacat. In the bounce pass comes quickly into Wolf. Left side is shot up off the glass. Too hard, no good. Bowling rebound. Outlet to Herring down the left side. Top spires three left wing. Front of the rim, no good. Seacat the rebound for Paoli. Evan runs it quickly in the front court. Stevens cross court to Asusugi. Fires three on the way. Front of the rim, no good. Herring the deep rebound. And as he comes out near midcourt, there's a bump and a foul called on Yusugi for Paoli. And on Ed Yusugi, that'll be his second personal foul. First on the team here in the half. Paoli starts off cold from the field. 0 for 3 so far, but they've got two real good looks for Brian Wolf. Valley, on the other hand, one out of three as Herring has had that three-point field goal, and they can get it below double digits here. Rams 2-3 zone. Hill to the left of the key. Passes it off to Herring. Now to Bolin. Bolin works behind the arc. Herring had thought about three. Now Eckerty fires three. Left of the key. In and out. No good. Chastain lost it. It goes to Romeo. No look pass to Bolin on the baseline. Todd drives in traffic. Put the shot up. No good. And Evan Seacat comes down with the rebound for Paoli. 
And that's where the foul will occur on the floor underneath the bucket. I think regardless of who it is, the uh, player will pick up the third foul. It was either Bolin or Hill. They both had two. And the foul goes on Todd Bolin. That's a bigger problem for Springs Valley because he has got his third. And he's the focal point of that offense out there for Valley. Seacab will bring it up across the timeline with the dribble. Valley works in their half court and man, man defense. Left side chassis. Valley has turned on the defense here. Held up. They only score us through the first minute and a half. Seacab works left side. Hill has inbound pass in the corner. Chassis. Chassis looking down low. Lost it and got it back. Good defense by the Hawks. Here's Wolf in the lane. Kicked around. Stolen from behind. Herring the other way. Two on run to Herring. He put it up off the glass and good. Nice play between Herring and Rubinger. 13 for Herring, and it's now just a nine-point Aoli lead. Bob it into Wolf. He works left side. Kicks it back out. Stevens, three in the corner. In and out, no good. Chastain the rebound. Brandon got it, but he'll also be called for the pushing foul. Well, things going Valley's way right now. They've got that uh, lead, which was up at 16 points when it was 32 to 16. And it's now down to 9, 41, 32, and a chance to get a little bit closer. And Chastain has picked up his first foul, second on the team in the half. Herring brings it up with the dribble, crosses over, scoops it out to Roaming here, fires it to Eckerty, left side to Hill. Hill looking, faking, drives in, gives it back out. Eckerty, three on the way, he gets it to it alone. 41-35, seven now for Eckerty, and Valley comes out shooting lights out. Seacat down low to Wolf, they chase him, he spins down the lane, put it up in front, he's got it. So Wolf breaks the die, right at the 5.35 mark, 43-35. Herring runs it the other way in the offensive end. They stop him with the defense. Bowling now, Herring. Here's three left side, and he got it. And the, the net gets caught. The boy, the Hawks, are burning it up from behind the arc, and the Rams are going to take a timeout. As Valley shoots themselves back into this ballgame, 43-38. To do the last couple of trips is to get that ball inside, try and get that fourth foul on Bowling. And make Coach Hayworth makes the decision whether he leaves him out, and leaves him in or takes him out. 11 to 2 run for the Hawks to open up this quarter in the first three minutes. Rams work on the offense here. Seacat three right side shot, good counted, and a foul. And Evan Seacat will have a four-point play opportunity. And that's what the Rams needed, maybe to get them fired up again here on the offensive end. That foul is on Ronald Hill, 34. That'll be his third personal foul, third on the team. Hill was chasing Seacat around the screen, got there late, got the hand into the body, and that was the call. And Seacat, with 24 points, he goes to the line of chance for a four-point trip. Ronald Hill has his job this half starting Seacat. Free throw up and good by Evans. It's a four-point play, 47-38, back up to a nine-point lead. We near the five-minute mark of the quarter. Rominger works right side with the dribble. Passes out to Herring. Fakes three. Left side to Eckerty. Can't leave him alone. Fakes pulls up. Ten-footer left wing up and good. Tim Eckerty feeling it now. We know what he can do. We saw him glide it up for 25 yesterday morning. He's got nine. Stevens works left side with the dribble for the Rams. 4.45 and counting here in the third. Bounce pass out high to Wolf. Thought about three. Now pulls it back out to Stevens. Top of the key. Here goes Seacat. Drives left side. Put it up with the left hand. Stopped off the glass and good. Back 20, out. 27. Nine-point lead here for the Rams. Roaming the offensive end. Tyler really not looking to shoot here early on. Takes it on the right wing. Dribbles into the arc. Now jump pass left side to Eckerty. The hot hand. Three more on the way. Third on the team here in the half. 
the Valley, two players doing the scoring. Herring did it early in this quarter. Ackerty has really come on. He's got 10 of his 14 here in this quarter. Don Bowen, the primary offensive threat down low. He hasn't scored yet this half. Kim Eckerty is just red hot. Now, Valley's doing a good job getting the ball to the man with the hot hand, and it's been both Herring and Eckerty. Herring now brings it up across the timeline as the Rams now go to their half-court man-to-man, and Valley pulls it out here with 327, trying to shorten the game and give some people some rest. Herring pulls it out with the dribble. Paoli leads it by four, and out front, Chad Team back now, and it's not a good foul there for Paoli. Well, that's trouble for Paoli because Chastain has just picked up his third personal foul. That's a four on the team here in the half, and Chastain comes out, and uh, Thornton will see his first action of the night, I believe. You're exactly right. Blake Allen checks back in for the Blackhawks. Inbounds. He goes in the left corner. Rovinger drives in. Stops. Double team. Back out to Eckert. He launches three left side. And they're going to call a foul on Tyler Rovinger. Now, he was trying to set a screen or to keep Seacat from flying at the shooter Eckert. And in doing so, caught his foot when he set the screen. So the foul goes on Rovinger. Just his first, fourth on the team. Shot no good. Give it back over to Paoli. Good thing it didn't go in. That would really been costly for the Hawks. Take that three off the board right now. Well, still a four-point lead. I, I think they would have caught it, counted it because I think the majority of the contact was after the shot had been released. Yusugi bounces left side to Thornton just in the game. Gets a quick shot up and good. So Adam Thornton, a nice low post move. First two of the night for Adam. 51 to 45. 255 and counting. Eckerty in the backcourt to Harry. Herring will bring it up across the timeline with the dribble. Nearly got the 10 second count on. They were counting on the valley yep. side. <laughs> Here's Herring working on Yusugi. 12 on 12. Reverses down the lane. Kicks it out to Eckerty. He stops, drives down, reached in, stolen down. A nice drop away by Yusugi. Here comes the Rams the other way. And as Evan Seacat makes his move down the lane, it'll be a homing the ball yep. violation. Be 10 turnovers now for Paola. So he's going to split that double team. The ball came up just a little bit high on him. And as he went through the defense, he turned it over a little bit. And Ronald Hill quickly comes in. Blake Allen takes his seat on the bench. 2.33 to go here. Valley climb back into this game. Coach Brown's leading his case, saying they're doing it all night. Here's Herring. He stops 15-footer off the dribble. It's good. That's his game. 51-47. Valley coming back. 2.24 and counting. Seacat between circles on the dribble. Rams go double high post offense. Seacat looking down low. He spots full and he turns in the lane. Full and shot up way short. No good. Right there is Thornton with the left handed foot back. No good. Seacat at both time. Up and good. Rams again get three shots at it. 53 47. And Seacat gets two more. Rollinger fake three. Drives down the lane. Running one hander. 10 footer. A floater is right through the net. 53 49. Five for Rominger under two minutes to go in the quarter. Seacat's going to drive all the way in. His floating shot up off the glass is good. Seacat answers right back. It's a shootout. Herring with the dribble takes it up across the timeline for the Valley Blackhawks. Now between the legs, behind the back, gives it off to Boland. Rams staying the man to man. Valley going to spread it out. Use their quickness. Here's Boland down the lane. Dishes it off to Hill. Hill back out to Herring. Herring drives on the baseline. Running one hander up and good. A nice soft floating jumper. 55 51. He kept right side and the Devin comes into the offensive end. They're going to call him for a shove with the off arm. And he'll pick up the charging foul. Yeah, lost his balance, extended that arm, picks up his second personal foul. That's team foul number five. Uh, scoring figures, Seacat, he's got 31. Herring now with 20, 12 of them here in this quarter. And Eckerty, who just went to the bench, he has 10 in this quarter and 14 for the ball against the Valley with two double-figure scores in this quarter. Tyler McKeegan comes in for the Rams along with Brian Wolf back in. Keenan Cave and Adam Mills come in for the Blackhawks. Herring out front behind the back dribble. Gets it off to Rovinger. Rovinger spreads out, drives down the lane, puts his shot up in traffic, no good. But a bump and a foul call. This one may go on Stevens, and that'll be a big one on Paoli. Wait to see just exactly who it is. No, change it to 52 instead of 30. And Wolfie, that's almost as big. He picks up his third personal foul, sixth on the team. Coach Brown willing to extend the man-to-man -man defense playing against the uh, quicker Blackhawks. At the line, Tyler Rominger shot up, and it's good. 
Well, Eckerty has shot him out of that zone, so they had to come up yeah. with something to try and stop him on hand. Eckerty right now getting a much-deserved break. Smoot comes in, and Mills comes out. Seacat quickly back in, and Yusuke comes out for the Rams. 55-52. Aoli leading by three. 112 remaining in the third. Tyler Rominger at the line for the Hawks. Shot up and good. Two-point Aoli lead. Seven for Rominger. Seacat across the timeline here for the Rams. Works against Gavin Smoot. Gives it off to McKeegan. McKeegan looking down low. It comes in to Wolf. He turns down the lane. Shot up in traffic. No good. Gets his own rebound. Put it back up. Falls down. No good. Tips around. Seacat battling for it. And Evans comes out of there with it. And when he does, Rominger reaches in and fouls him. Contact like you wouldn't believe underneath. Both teams going hard at it. No call until the ball got loose on the uh, baseline. And that foul goes against Tyler Rominger of Springs Valley. His second and fifth on the team. They only will have to inbound underneath their own basket. 54.3 seconds remaining in the quarter. And Tim Eckerty quickly checks back in for the Valley Blackhawks. Tyler Rominger will come out and get a break. Tyler doing a good job out there. Took a hard hit early in this game, but it's played solid on both ends. McKeegan to throw it in. He comes in to see Cat. He's going to launch three. Left side is good. 58-53. We roll under 50 seconds. 34 at the season high now for Evan Seacat. He's still got a quarter to play. Harry, right side after the hit three on the way. Back of the rim, no good. But keeps in the rebound for the Rams. Clears it off to Seacat. He takes it down the left side with the dribble. Crosses over. And as he goes up for the shot, a foul will be called. Looks like Gavin Smith tried to reach in and slap it away. Uh, Seacat too quick for Smoot. He picks up his second personal foul. Six now called against uh, Springs Valley. So the next foul for each team puts the other in the bonus. Not in the bonus yet, so they only will have to inbound underneath their own basket. I think the referees have been given a one-and-one one signal from the scores bench, maybe. Rominger back in, and Cage comes out. Or the players just anticipating. McKeegan to throw it in for the ramp. Now Adam Mills checks in for Springs Valley. And Adam will replace Ronald Hill. Uh, surely he's not going to guard Wolf. He and Eckerty are going to switch up. There we go. Yeah, that's a big mismatch. Yeah. He's going to throw it in. He comes in to Seacat, catches, launches three, right side is good. Uh, he's, yeah. he's in that zone. It's four straight, six out of seven in the quarter. Catch and release, 61-53. Back up to eight. Eckerty drives down the lane, left side. Shot up over Wolf, no good. Tipped up by a Seacat. And Stevens by Thornton. Josh comes out of there with it for the ramp. Ahead up to Thornton. Thornton now pulls it back out, looking down low. He spots Wolf. He turns in the lane, spins, puts it up and in. That Valley back up to 10 seconds with our 10 point lead with five seconds to go. Harry out front with one second. Eckerty at the horn, three, and tips off the front of the rim. No good. And Paoli with a flurry that goes out the quarter here has the lead back up to double digits 63 to 50. McKeegan, Wolf, and Chastain. Smoot, Herring, Rominger, Bolin, and Eckerty for the Blackhawks. Out front now, Seacat has it guarded by Herring. Takes it to the right side. Evans looking down low, trying to get it to Wolf. Pass it out front, Chastain to McKeegan. Between the circles on the dribble. Passes it out front to the right of the key. Stevens now runs the fifth play. Right side, Seacat looking down low. The lane opens up. Top of the key to Chastain. Left side to Stevens. Valley in the man-to-man. -man. McKeegan at the top of the key. Looks for cutters down low. Passes it out front to Stevens. Stevens with the ball between circles. The Rams have run 30 seconds off the clock on the offensive end. McKeegan with the dribble. Chastain all alone. Didn't take the three. Now left side. It goes to Wolf. Here's McKeegan at the free throw line. Turns. Fires off the front of the rim. No good. A rebound by Bowen. The shot wouldn't fall. Here's Bowen running it up the left side with the dribble. He was quiet in that third quarter. But the man who had the ball. Eckerty right there at the hot hand. Swing it to Herring to Smoot. Smoot drives into the corner. Back out front to Herring. He fires three right at the key. He got it. No answer for Brandon Harry. Three more. 63 to 56. 22 on the game. Here's Seacat driving over to McKeegan. He lost it. Out front to Chastain. Brandon now with the dribble. We'll set it up to McKeegan on the right side. McKeegan on the wing. Takes it to the top of the key to Steven. Seacat with the dribble. Drives to the free throw line. Running one hander down the lane. Up to good. 556 on the hometown piece of pasta and more scoreboard. Long pass down for it. Roaming your drive. Keeps it back out. Hearing a good look. Three on the way. Missed it off the front of the rim. Over by Fort. He does a nice job of throwing it off the foot of Chastain out of bounds. It'll 
Liberty Blackhawks basketball. One more point. That'll put Seacat at 40 for the night. He's got 39 after that last trip down for Paoli. And you mentioned uh, Bolin being quiet in the third quarter. He didn't score in the third quarter. It's pretty quiet. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he did what he needed to do. That's rebounding and playing tough defense in the post. Yeah, did pick up a fourth foul after he got that third. Eckerty to throw it in for the Blackhawks. Looking comes way out high to Bolin. Bolin between circles goes left side to Rominger. Rominger pulls it out with the dribble. Looking down low to Bolin in the lane. Put it up in traffic from the left side. No good. Rebound Stevens and gets a quick shovel pass. Chastain now to Seacat. Evan to the offensive end. Guarded there by Hill. Goes left side to Stevens. Stevens on the left wing. Pass to Chastain. 605 and counting in the ball game. They only up by nine points. That's not a large lead the way the Hawks can fill it up here. Seacat drives down the lane, and we've got a blocking foul called on Ronald Hill as Evan made the move across the free throw line. And on Ronald Hill, that'll be foul number four, seventh on the team. So it will be one and one for Evan Seacat. And he's got 39 points right now. Scored 16 in the third quarter. He's been scored in double figures every quarter so far. We'll see how he starts off here in this fourth quarter of play. He'll have the one in bonus of Brian Wolf re-enters the lineup here for the Rams. Will he or will he not? And Adam Mills definitely will come in for Paoli as Hill picks up that fourth personal foul. Now Coach Brown says, no, not quite yet. We'll see how the matchups go with Mills in there now. Yeah, I think he wanted to see exactly who was coming out. Shot by Seacat up and good on the first one. Evan coming in at 74% from the line. 40 points, a career high for the junior. 40 of the 66. The Rams are rung up tonight. Next one by Seacat up and good. And he's 6 out of 6 from the line. 67-56, under 6 minutes to go in the game. Rominger in the right corner, cross court to Mills. Fakes, drives in, puts a shot up off the dribble, shot in and out, no good, tipped around by Bolin. And now they're going to call it over the back foul on Todd Bolin. Well, just had the advantage of jumping up over top of the Paoli defenders who had a good block out. Yeah, I think there was contact initially on the first tip. Then on the second, the referee said, OK, I'll, let you, I'll give you one, but not two. And Bolin has picked up his fourth personal foul. That is 18 fouls against Springs Valley. And we go to the other way with Joe Bullen at the line. His first trip to the line tonight. And now timeout taken on the hometown pizza process for the scoreboard. Springs Valley, 67-56 with five. Just Paoli, 9 of 18 in the quarter. 24 out of 59 for the game, 41%. Valley, 20 of 43 for the game, 47%. They have warmed up every quarter since the first. They were 10 of 18 in the last quarter, 56%. Bullen's first free throw high off the back of the heel of the rim and through Joe coming in at just 50% from the line. And that's his first point of the night. He averages 1.4. Brian Wolf ready to check in for Joe if he can hit this free throw at the 550 mark. And the shot by pulling up and good. And they only back up 69-56 on the hometown pizza, pasta, and more scoreboard. Still a lot of time left for these shooters from Valley. They can yeah. get it back quick. Well, I'm thinking, that have we weathered the storm yet, or is the worst of it yet to come? Herring quickly ahead to Mills on the left side. Adam pulls it out to Herring. Brandon with the dribble to Eckerty. He and Eckerty have literally brought this team back after being down by as many as 18 in that first half of play. Bolin right side to Eckerty. Eckerty bounce pass out front to Herring. Valley being patient on the offense against the Rams 2-3 zone. Bill, top of the key. Herring all alone. Three on the way. Short, no good. Seacat lost the rebound and picks up there by Eckerty. Now rolling your three to the right of the key is good. Well, Valley makes a pay for it, 69-59, 518 to go in the hometown pizza, Boston Moore scoreboard. Seacat fires it down low, Wolf turns in the lane over Bowling, soft jump shot, no good. And Wolf goes for the rebound over the back, and Brian will pick up the personal foul. Well, he's got to be frustrated. So many of his shots have just hit the rim and bounced off the iron unkind, so to speak. And Wolfie picks up his fourth personal foul, so the two starting centers have four apiece. We've got free throws to be shot by Rominger, one and one this other way. Mentioned Eckerty, he was hot early in that uh, third quarter. Went out for a rest, but hasn't made a shot since. He missed his last four of that last quarter after starting, hitting four out of his first five. Rominger at the line, a good free throw shooter at 80%. Hits the first one. 69-60 on the hometown pizza pass and more scoreboard. Five minutes, ten seconds remaining here in the ball game. Got a bloody yeah, lip. I think Chastain yeah. took an elbow or something to the lip, and Brandon is leading 
looks as though they're going to try and check it out. They may have to take him out. The officials confirm Adam Thornton will come in to replace Chastain, who just got a busted lift. That's yep. all the things you can say about it. Now, Valley been content to shoot the outside shot so far this quarter. They've uh, fired it up four times from three-point range, hit two of them, over two from inside the arc. It's Rominger now ready to shoot some free throws. He's got 11 points on the night. Hit his first to get the second. Shot up by Tyler is good. 69-61. Brian Valley did put some pressure on the Seacat brings it across the timeline to Thornton. Swing it left side to Steven. Steven out front with the dribble to Seacat. Looking down low, can't get it in. Perry now guarding Seacat. Top of the key. Bullet left side to Steven. Steven's looking down the Rams run offense. Here's your city behind the arc to the right of the key. Ed with the dribble, goes on the left side to Steven. Steven begins to build, bounce pass right side to Yusuke. Bounce pass down low, here's Seacat turning up over here, and his jump shot no good. Over the rebound for the Hawks, brings it up with the dribble, three on two. Todd all the way in, put it up in traffic, no good, but a foul called, and Bowling will go to the free throw line. Uh, Kip waits for one of the Paoli players to step in there and draw the charge, but Bowling did a good job of not putting himself in that situation. Uh, foul called on 12, Ed Yasugi. That is his third personal foul, eighth on the team. And what I was thinking, if he does get that charge call, that would be five for Bowling. A dangerous situation for him. Free throw by Todd up and says, exactly right. Instead of just going down there trying to bowl in straight to the basket, he just let things shut up and see what he had, and then took it to his advantage in the double figures with 10. And he's going to be coming out. I think uh, that Ronald Hill is there at the score table to take him out for a final time. Bullen and Thornton come out. Chastain and Wolf back in at the 435 mark. Rams up by seven on the hometown piece of Pasta Moore scoreboard. Free throw by Bullen is good, so Todd now will get a quick break as Ronald Hill comes in. Six points, they only lead, so Coach Hayworth feels that he can steal some seconds here for his star center and still be in this game just down by six. Seacat in the backcourt, will be against Terry. Gets a screen, takes it to the left side. They leave him all alone. He pulls up, 15 footer, left baseline, no good. He over rebound. Outlet pass. Here comes Herring running it down the left side. Herring stutter step drives each shot over Yusugi on the baseline. 15 footer is good. Boy, what a tough shot off the dribble by Herring. He's got 25. Quickly Yusugi, lob it into Wolf, tip it back out. He'll have it. He steals it. The other way to come. Rominger runs it up, down by four of the Hawks. Here's Rominger at the top of the key. Four minutes remaining in the game. Smoot, right corner, out front to Eckerty. He pulls in the high pass, drives in, right side from the wing. The shot in foot, no good, tipped around. He kept the rebound for Mayoli. And Kim Eckerty tried to come in and steal it from behind. And Kim, a little bit too aggressive, picks up the foul. Eckerty picks up his second personal foul. That'll be nine against Springs Valley as a team, so one more. And they put Paoli in the double bonus, and they got just a little bit of rest for Bowling. He checks in, missed about 45 seconds or so of playing time, maybe a minute and a half to two minutes on the bench. He checks back in. 3.51 to go on the hometown pizza pasta and more scoreboard. Evan Seacat at the line here for the Rams. Paoli clean to the four-point lead, make it now five. 42 for Evan. Starting to run out of fingers. Yes, you are. <laughs> 70 65. The next one by Seacat, the bonus. Something good. 71 65. Rams put on the full court pressure. Eckerty finally gives it into Herring, and he'll run it up across the timeline with the dribble. Stops, top of the key. Dishes it back out to Herring on the left wing to Mills. Fakes drives in, pulls it back out with the dribble. Eckerty into the corner. Knocked away, stolen by Chastain. Leap half ahead to Seacat. Seacat going to drive in on Herring, put it up and good. Nice move by Evan Seacat. Herring back out, not to get the foul. Rams back up by him. Here's Eckerty running it into the offensive end. And he got a little bit too quick for himself. Had a, the ball come up just a little bit higher than what he wanted it to do and was going to make a move in the process and turn it over. And Valley wants to talk things over. So Valley will take the time out here with 3.28 remaining on the hometown beat the Ponson Moore scoreboard, 73-65. And it's out strong, and they have managed to keep that lead 8 to 10 points for the most part of this uh, fourth quarter. Paoli, the basketball, and the lead. Right side, Yusugi. Works on the man-to-man. -man, goes to Chastain. Brandon back in top of the key. Passes it over to Yusugi. Rams looks for cutters. High post pass. Left side, Wolf. On the wing to Chastain. Chastain finds Seacat. Top of the key. Guarded there by Herring. Right side to Wolf. Behind the arc. 
And Wolf around his man drives in, dishes it off to Stevens into the corner. Good recovery by the Valley man-to-man -man defense. Three minutes remaining in the game. Stevens out front to Chastain. Chastain to the left to Key. Down low is Wolf. Puts a shot up over forward and good. So the Rams run the offense and get two and lead it by ten. And that's how many Brian Wolf has. Ten points. 2.45 to go in the game. And Wolf goes over the shoulder to tip the ball away from Bowling. And he'll pick up his fifth personal foul. Five fouls against the Brian Wolf and nine team fouls. So that takes the big man out for Paoli. At the 245 mark. Yeah, Coach Mike Brown likely to put Pullen in there. I believe he's been the one primarily playing that center spot. It'll be either him or Adam Thornton as Coach Brown talks it over. Well, nope, Tyler, Tyler McKeegan. So we get another ball handler and shooter in there yep. now by 10. Coach thinking that they're going to have to foul and Tyler is an excellent free throw shooter. Brian Wolf, a nice hand, another strong game here. And really, when you look at this type of game, it's not to the making of Brian Wolf because it's more of an up-and-down game. But he, even at that, Paoli was able to get it to him, and he got shots. Just those things will bounce and bounce and bounce and then roll off. Free throw by Todd Bowling, up and good. 75-66 on the hometown pizza, pasta, and more scoreboard. That's a dozen for the senior center from Spring Valley. Bowling tries to make a perfect two for two trip. Shot is up and good. Substitutions cave and Hill back in. Bowling comes out and Eckerty comes out. Coach Rob Aworth may be making some defense and offensive substitutions here now. See if he doesn't want to try and press out front too. 240 counting in the ballgame. She cat at the point. Gives it off to Yusuke. Yusuke with the dribble to Stevens, left of the key. Valley with quick, short light up in there, trying to play defense. Yusuke around his man to Chastain. To the top of the key, back to Yusuke. Yusuke with the dribble, works on rolling here. Now to McKeegan. McKeegan passes it out front, left side to Brandon. Brandon pulls it out. Stevens to the right of the key. Trying to work down low, maybe work it into Seacat. Out front. Yusuke splits the defender, drives in, puts it up off the glass and good. Nice drive by Ed Yusuke for his fifth point. They only got by 10 as we near the two-minute mark of the ball game on the hometown pizza apostle for scoreboard. Carrying in the offensive end, Rams drop back two, three zones. Here's Rominger driving down the lane, running one hander, no good. Rebound, Ronald Hill, back up and in. Ronald Hill, a big offensive rebound and put back. Four on the night for Hill. And it's 48 and counting. Aoli up by eight and the basketball. Yusuke works right side with the dribble. Passes it out front down to Chastain. Chastain to Yusuke to the right of the key on the wing. Looking, head drives, kicks it out front now to Stevens. And there's Roving, kind of a delayed foul with 134 to go. And that looks as though it's going to be the scenario right now. Make the Rams win it at the free throw line. Well, they ran some clock, got under that uh, 145 mark, and that's when the Valley bench started calling for the foul. And Rollinger, the first in a position where he could foul somebody, picks up his third. Ten team fouls against Valley, though, so they will uh, put Paoli up there to shoot double bonus the rest of the way. At the line will be Josh Stevens. Free throw up and good. Josh coming in, hitting 80% from the strike. He's got another solid game of eight points. The Rams can get that out of Josh night in and night out. That will make them a very tough team to handle. And now yeah. Joe Pullman comes in. Well, you know you're going to get your points out of Seacat and Wolf. It's a matter of who that third or perhaps fourth is going to, to be to step up because I think Brandon Chastain, he will usually get you between six to ten points. And if, if you can get that out of Stevens, you're that much better off. Second shot by Josh, in and out, no good. Rebound, Todd Bowen, he brings it out with the dribble on the run out. All the way in, dishes it out to Mills, and it tipped right there by Seacat before it got to Adam. Adam tried to catch it. He couldn't get it because the path had been redirected. That goes out of bounds, the only basketball. And now Adam will come out, Gavin Smoot will come in. Again, the defense offense up. Coach Ron Hayward says, let's come out, put some pressure on the basketball. And McKeegan in and pulling out for the Rams. They only now get some help there in the backcourt to uh, try and get this ball in. Bob it in, it comes to Seacat. And Seacat will work against Terry across the timeline with the dribble into the double team around. It opens up down the lane. He drives all the way in, put it up, and good. 80 69 on the hometown pizza pasta more scoreboard, a minute 15 in county. Rominger drives on the baseline. He goes up, and there's a charge. Brandon Cassie steps in from the baseline to take a big charge to wide two off and yep. give the Rams the basketball. And the fourth foul on Tyler Rominger, player control foul, so no free throws to be shot. Got uh, Seacat for 47 points now. 
McKeegan across the timeline with the dribble, runs into Romy or contact. McKeegan goes down. Oh, they call off. Tyler McKeegan right in front of the scores there. That's a delayed call. He, he was going to have to either call the charge on McKeegan, which I think he, maybe he did charge, or he was going to have to call a grip yeah. <laughs> on, on uh, Romlinger, who was down on the floor because then McKeegan tripped over him. So. Tyler just got the, the worst of it, so to speak. He'll get those calls with experience. So, his Tyler's first player control foul to the free throws. The basketball, roaming her on the right wing, drives in, dishes down low. Yasuki steps in, but Bowler still gets the ball, turns around, puts the shot up, no good. He is fouled and will go to the free throw line. For just under one minute remaining in the ball game on the hometown pizza, pasta, and more scoreboard. And Bowen picks up the foul. That is his fourth, tenth on the team. So it should be two free throws for uh, Bowen as he steps up there. Four out of four from the line this quarter. Uh, six out of eight for the game. Shot by Todd up and good. 80 to 70. The Rams a 10-point lead. 14 now for Bowen. And McKeegan will come into the game and Bowen will come out. Set it up along the free throw lane now. Todd Bowling for the second, trying to make it a two for two trip. Shot is up in front of the rim. Game is in and good. 80 71. The hometown yeah. pizza pasta more scoreboard. It'd be nice to get just a few more points for Evans. So he had an even 50. He's got 47 right now. Chastain to throw it in, comes into Yusuke, they get a quick trap, it goes up now to Seacat, rolling here, twisting an ankle down in the back end, there's Seacat driving, lost it, got it back, chipped up, and he put it into it. So, Evan Seacat right there, it's Valley a player down, and Romer here trying they to throw off the floor, they, they, they do, and this one occurred away from the basketball, the last time down, Tyler, I don't know if he stepped on somebody I think so. or what, but boy, he went down hard and really grimacing in pain there underneath the bucket now with 45.5 seconds remaining. I think he got tangled up with whoever it was that was on that side, maybe Stevens or McKeegan, and rolled the ankle as the two came together. And, uh, they, you know, you can't stop the, the play when the other team has it in a scoring-type situation. Then when the officials came, a tournament came in you know, over the holidays. Well, we'll see how things unfold. Valley the basketball. Eckerty to Herring back to Eckerty on the right wing. Down low the double team, and the Rams steal it away from Bowling. Good play by Fullen and Chastain. Stevens in the backcourt has the ball tipped away from behind, and that foul will go on the Blackhawks with exactly 36 seconds remaining in the game. I think it'll be Eckerty that picks it up. It is 32. That'll be his third, and double bonus situation again for Paoli as Stevens steps up there. He was one out of two last trip. He's got eight points on the night. For the Rams, only 46 points yesterday morning. Then 103 last night. Now over the 80-point margin tonight. Free throw Stevens rattles around and falls through. He can by himself tonight. Got more than what we had yesterday morning. <laughs> Josh gives the Rams a 12-point lead. Second one by Stevens, up in front of the rim, short, no good, rebound, Todd Bowen, he's had a ton of those quickly up the middle, Spakes drives in the lane, running one hander off the glass, no good, Yusuke the rebound for the Rams, and as he comes out of there with it, ball goes out of bounds, they say last touch by Ed, but I think maybe Herring might have something to do with that. Either way, Valley gets the ball over there. On the sideline, Eckerty comes in, and Herring goes in the backcourt after Seacat had touched the ball. Here's Herring driving, pulls up free throw line jumper, no good. Rebound pulled down by Seacat, who's also had a bunch of those as well. And Kim Eckerty reaches in, and he'll pick up the foul with 19.1 yep. seconds remaining in the ball game. And here's your chance at 50 points. Seacat will go up there. I've got him for 49 right now. Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, 49, 12 points in this quarter. Well, we're going to have to make a bad dash down to the record there and see about how close he is, maybe yeah. through a school record. At the line, Evan Seacat. And he'll step up, free throw up and good. That'll be 50. A big 5-0. He's like 4 to 71, Paoli on time. Not that it's a big difference, one point from another, but 50, that, that's a nice round number. A round figure that everybody will remember. Yep. Are you there tonight, Evan Seacat scored 50. Probably and second. he did it against Valley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, probably the second highest total we've seen. I, I think uh, Robin, a few years back for Orleans, lit him up for like 63. I, know, I forget who it was against, but I remember that point total. 
Seven Seacat back at the line. Checking in will be Jason Nelson along with Daniel Springer. Shot no good. Rebound Keenan K for the Red or make the Red the Blackhawks brings it up. To Kyle Cruz is also checked in. Cave long three right of the key back of the rim. No good. Rebound Blake Allen put it back up. No good. Tipped around and Seacat the rebound for the Rams with three seconds to go. They only just going to hold it in the backcourt and come away with the victory here tonight over the Green Valley Blackhawks. The Rams win it to advance on to the final four of the tournament.